Okay, so this tutorial will cover the scan body locking feature in the version 3 software for the 3600 scanner. If anybody's ever tried to scan multiple scan bodies, they potentially have run into the challenge of having uh, one scan body data added to another scan body because of the similar geometry that they each have. There are multiple techniques you can use to help with this without using this particular feature, but that's for a different conversation. So I've actually scanned the upper and the lower, just two separate models. You can see they're just two separate models, nothing to do with each other. But just to illustrate the workflow, I've uh, scanned the upper, the lower, and the bite. And we're in the implant workflow. You can see here I'm under acquisition. And the normal workflow is you scan upper, lower, and bite, just like normal. I go ahead and select next. And I go to my implant arch and I can zoom in nicely where I'm looking at it down occlusally. I either have a free cut tool or I have a round cut tool where all I have to do is select the middle, left click and hold and drag out uh, the appropriate circle. And I can do it again for my second implant. At that point, I just select next again. Notice it goes to the scan body tab. And next I'm actually going to change it to scanning in monochrome. I think it shows up a little bit better with scan bodies. And down here is my scan body area selection. So when I highlight this, I can actually create an area on my scan model here. And that's going to isolate where I can scan and turn blue the rest of the scan where I won't be able to add any more data. So now I can actually take and scan my first scan body and I'm using this area to re-register the scanner to the actual model. I can't just highlight just this area, it's not going to re-register the scanner. So I have to create a little bit larger area and use that one adjacent tooth to re-register the scanner. And now I can scan my scan body. Then I simply delete that existing area and I'm going to highlight the next area. Again, using the adjacent tooth to re-register the scanner. If your last scan body is all the way in the posterior where there's no tooth posterior to that last scan body, you can always use additional tissue to the distal or to the buccal and lingual for that little reference spot to re-register the scanner. And then you're done and you refine like normal. And here's your two models with and without the scan body. And you can save like normal. Hope this helps.